I always forget that one. Don't call me Bud when you tell me something bad. It makes me think you're being uh, patronizing. It's okay. Uh, I have a lot of canker sores, which are ulcers and not herpes. So we're going to get through this with a lot of drugs. It looks like you're taking acid. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know why I do. Yes, I do. It's because I stood in this kitchen a few nights ago, like at 11 o'clock at night, reading Sweet Tooth Volume 1, which is great, and uh, eating an entire box of vanilla life cereal just out of the box with my hand. Like an entire box. That's why I have that. Okay, these aren't cold sores. They're canker sores. They're different. Cold sores are herpetic. These are ulcers. That's why people who eat too much salt and have anxiety get them all the time. All right, so enough about that. You're watching the Whitest Kids You Know official Twitch network show channel. And uh, we do this to do things with we uh, are raising money to make a movie. And uh, this is Zucchini Boys. I'm Timmy from the group, and I'm going to make food. And what are we making? Well, it's right here. We're going to make hamburger steaks, which is uh, basically burger patties that you fry up with gravy in them. Very healthy. And then uh, we're going to spiralize the summer squash that I think is still okay. If not, we have options. And then um, I have several corns of cob, cobs of corn even. And I'm going to grill them on this little electric grill right here. I'm also going to boil some, which means i got to get my pot out for that. forgot about that one. And then also... I could put that one. There it is. And then also, I didn't mention this in my promos. I'm going to do a third thing to corn and do it in the Instant Pot and see which one tastes better. Now, of course, everybody is programmed by corporate America to think that grilling is the best way to cook anything because they want you to buy $7,000 grills and match that with the lifestyle of trucks and boots and things. Uh, but sometimes other ways can be better, right? Now, if you boil a cob of corn correctly, it can be real fucking delicious. So, we're going to check that out. Thank you to Unlonely Ghost and Aspen Brienne for resubscribing. Aspen says, Happy Zugini Boys, Timmy. Looking forward to all the cobs of corn you have in store for this evening. Yeah, there's three up my butt right now. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, grilled corn is really good. But, you know, people sound like it's not the only way to fly. Or it is the only way to fly, and it's just not true. You know? So, uh, no, I don't listen to the Lord, the Lord Buckethead. Maybe sometimes. Um, also, this is an, an electric grill, so maybe that's not as good as the smoky kinds. I don't know. Um, speaking of smoke, I like to put a little bit of liquid smoke in the bottom of it. That might be cheating, since I won't be... Wait, there's not much left. All right, we'll just use the rest up. Huh, all right. Shows you how much I use that. All right, now I'm in the Midwest. I'm in South Dakota, La Dakota del Sur, right? And uh, here in La Dakota del Sur, we, uh, you know, we're in South, uh, South Dakota. It's in the Midwest, Minnesota, Iowa, North Dakota. We have good fucking sweet corn, like really good corn. So uh, we take it, I wouldn't say we take it seriously because we don't take anything seriously, which is why we're all going to die from COVID round seven or whatever this is. But, um, we, uh, you know, but we do, uh, we do have very good corn out here. Uh, some of it is used to make ethanol. Some of it, uh, just gets shipped a thousand miles away for Coca-Cola. Uh, you know, but some of it we eat here and it's very, very good. And there are different breeds depending on what you're doing. So. Now you know. Actually, I'm not going to boil the corn water first. I'm going to I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to be doing the hamburger steaks first. As I, th I didn't think through this part, the order. I would love to have everything ready at the same time. I don't know if that's going to happen. We shall see. We're going to move the grill for now. We're going to focus on the hamburger steaks. So let's get some gloves going here. Thank you to Bagel Master Zero for resubscribing. McStink Beef says, Hamburger steaks sound great. I shouldn't be watching this before I eat dinner. Maybe this is exactly what I should be watching. 
yeah, maybe it'll give you ideas. Uh, or at least just make you hungry, and uh, which is good to get hungry around dinner time. I uh, have had always had a problem with this show with being hangry when I started. I would I used to start it earlier and I would not have time to eat. Now what I do is eat a little something before. I'll still be a bitch to people. But uh, anyways, I'm still a bitch. But uh, oh, 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 what I do is I uh, eat a little bit of food first. And last night we made because I don't only cook. On Thursdays. Before I say the food that I made last night, just know that I get the jokes. I've seen our show too, and uh, I did make these things on a sketch-themed show a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, back in February. But anyways, my daughter and I made homemade pork and beans last night. I already took out the beef, didn't I? And it's very good, and yeah, it's very similar to baked beans, but whatever. Uh, and I made cornbread with that and Brussels sprouts. I ate all the Brussels sprouts last night, but. Had some of the cornbread as a pre-dinner dinner. Pre-dinner dinner? Pre dinner? Thank you to McNutley TV. All right. So yeah, if you don't know, we're using all the funds from this, whether you donate or subscribe or whatever, uh, or subscribe to our Patreon, which, you know, some people complain about, we're, we're getting there, we're, you know, I know personally I, I owe some stuff, and that's going to happen. We just uh, are getting used to the whole lifestyle. Anyways, first off, what you do is you want, I'm going to only gonna use a pound and a half of burger, so there's going to be a little bit of this left. Whoa, wait, 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 chill, everybody chill, everything's already falling apart. Oh my god, that was almost perfect. A little bit more, a little bit more. And then we'll use the rest for like a hamburger patty or something. Actually, some of it's kind of looking weird on the end. I'll probably just throw this part away. Fine, perfect. Okay. Meow. Well, I shouldn't throw it away. I can, I can do that. I'll, I'll just make one burger, right? Dolphin wizard going off and gifting. Thank you. All right, there's one... Uh, yeah, well, that was just because when I was thawing it, it cooked the beef a little bit. We'll get rid of that part. Anyways, there's a junior, there's a fucking Wendy's Junior Bacon Cheat I can have later, right? Let's see here. Here's what we'll do. All right, I'm trying not to get raw meat on everything, right? So what you do first is you crumble this beef. Oh, this is like grippy. My new, my new thing is grippy. Anyways. Yeah, you know what? Fuck, man. Some of this got, like, I don't know. Some of it looks weird. But the, the stuff I'm using here looks good. So now we gotta fuck with the weight again. Because weird stuff threw me off as normal. And I am just gonna throw away the remainder. Because we're gonna switch out anything fucking weird looking for stuff that looks good. So, there's another chunk that looks weird. Sometimes you gotta do this with beef, even in a part of the world where the beef is real good. You know, it just happens. Plus, you're supposed to be crumbling this up anyway, so I guess that's my way of inspecting it, you know what I mean? Anyway, so tonight we're going to be making these hamburger steaks, and then also, uh, um, like I said, some uh, corn on the cob, and also zucchini, well, summer squash, but I'm going to spiralize it. i got to get it my spiralizer. Touching cold meat always chills my hand bones like nothing else. I think it's just because it's cold, right? I mean, cold stuff chills you. You're gonna get sushi, nice. All right, 154. So that's 1.54, and that's all right. And I don't feel anything too fucked up in there, so so this part gets thrown away. We don't need you. It's all right. Waste not, want not, but every once in a while, waste. I do pretty fucking good eating leftovers, though. I will say. All right. I don't have a dog, but all right. Okay. So we're just getting this all, and then uh, we get this all crumbled, mix it up with a bunch of other stuff, and then we get going. Yeah, this is very ASMR, I know. Thank you. So how's everybody doing? I was, uh... Yeah, I was on Saturday's show. Well, I was at my... Who who saw Saturday's show? That was one of the weirdest South Suck Saturdays we've had. Mm. 
Timmy Titty Time? Oh yeah, there was nipples. Yeah, it was fun, right? Okay, so this is pretty crumbled up. I just want to make sure that we can integrate all the flavors well enough, you know? And maybe I'll use my thing, not my dick. But uh, I have a crumble stick. That's what I should be using right now. One of these guys? Ah, shit, I got a little bit of crumbling on there. Okay. Trying to be better about raw meat, you know? Gross. I mean, it's not gross, it's delicious. But, uh, gotta be careful. Yes, yeah, so you can put condoms on your fingers. Okay. Um, chat's on Serenia. Okay, everything's sounding good. Looking good? Yeah, all right. Cool. There we go. Just fucking pick this guy up. Oh, oh yeah. You gotta beat your meat. You gotta, yeah. Whatever. Now the meat has that post-masturbation glow. Yeah, uh, hamburger steak is a southern thing. I was not super familiar with it either. Oh, I didn't get out my measuring spoon, did you? Alright, and yeah, I did get some things touched here, so I'm going to wash my hands. Right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have hand washing soap, that's right. But a friend of mine made. I live somewhere in the middle of Minnesota. Her husband's a scientist. And they make soap. And also, I assume he does something for a lot of money involving science, helping a you know oil company to make money or something. Anyways, what's up, Beans? Hellcat Coro gifting subs. Very many thank yous. All right, I got this a little bit. We're okay. We're all okay here. We're all we're all fine here. Yeah, we're all good. How are you? Okay. I need measuring spoons. Anybody else sometimes store your shit in the dishwasher for too long? Oh, does someone need to get banned already? Anyways, just checking out some things, you know. I see that Nick the Newbie thought that me beating the meat was a TOS violation. You might be right. It's pretty... It was pretty fucking sensual. I mean, let's just... Yeah. Let's just get, get it out there, you know. I don't even know where that comment is. Anyways, fuck him. I'm cool. Shut up. So, I'm going to need to get more paper towels. You know how I'd like to kill a whole fucking tree during this stream. Well, why don't you just show me what you're even saying, you little bastard. All right. Hmm. I don't know how to do that. Oh, God. I don't want to do that. All right. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Someone was saying a link about me being a mean to people. Uh, yeah, I prove that all the time, but I don't discriminate. Thank you to hey Martin fifty nine for resubscribing. What's the fat to meat ratio on that beef? Can you use Heart Smart Beef for this recipe? Probably, because you're gonna add uh, 
gravy mix and uh, French onion condensed soup to it uh, for the gravy part. So yeah, otherwise just cook it, you know. So I think it's fine. Whatever kind of beef you want to use. I, want, I normally go for 80 85%, a little nicer beef. So I don't know, something like that. Thank you, Allegra. Give it up for, to our mods, everybody. We recently used to be not modded enough, and then we started modding, modding people. All right. Oh man, it's kind of uh, wiped out. Had a lot of stuff going on besides whitest kid stuff. Okay, so crumble the ground beef in a large bowl, sprinkle with the garlic powder, onion powder. Everything. Okay, so garlic powder first. We're gonna do. Half a teaspoon of that. Okay. And then one teaspoon of onion powder. Onion. You're not that light beard and it's only like 20 minutes in. You're all good. Okay, what else we got here? Quarter teaspoon, oh, half teaspoon of salt. My daughter hates using this container. It is not very prone to good measurements, so you know, you see some of it falling in the bowl, but it's just salt. Salt's delicious. Okay, there's that. Um, one teaspoon ground pepper, or ground mustard. Yeah, Trotta Taylor, that's why you're not a mod. <laughs> Trotta Taylor says, I pretty much just eat, or if I was a mod, I'd ban anyone who used the A key, and I'm like, yeah, that's why you're not one. Cause, and that's why I, well, I am one, but that's why I don't use my mod powers, because I'm like, you know, I do, even though I like to be all, sometimes, uh, I do generally uh, understand the things you should and should not mod. However, I have my moments, and I enjoy my moments, and I'm not going to pretend that I uh, don't have them. So, I should not be a mod, is what I'm saying. And I'm sure most of you agree. Okay. All right, so now we've sprinkled a bunch of spices on the beef. And then it says blend well. It says, I, this is some southern lady or dude, I can't remember, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Everybody likes to cook. This says, I like to use a fork for this. It keeps you from overworking the mixture, which can produce a tough hamburger stick. Divide the mixture into four equal amounts or more if you want smaller steaks and form them into patties. There's not. You, now, I'm going to use this big wooden uh, fork to start with. I agree with you, Allegra. I uh, like to do the timeout first, you know. Would I consider releasing a Zucchini Boys cookbook at the end of the year? No, because I use so many recipes per off from different mom blogs and stuff like that. I don't want to get sued by those moms because, you know, a lot of those cooking blogs, they are so into themselves. You know that they're watching out for that shit. So, no, but I have started to kind of uh, do my own thing sometimes. The other two recipes tonight I'm going to do my own thing, but one's just literally making corn hot. Uh, <laughs> the other one, maybe. I'm going to just cut up, uh, I'm going to spiralize summer squash, but then also uh, take some other vegetables that need to get used up and use them up. Yeah, it's, it's sweet corn. That's what you... That's what you should eat for corn on the cob. You don't want, you know, there's a place here called Ortonville, Minnesota nearby that does corn fest around this time every year. And they give free, you know, one of the things at corn fest is you get free corn, like to eat. But the year I went there and actually got the free corn, it's like not the sweet corn eating variety. It's probably like ethanol corn or, or the corn they use to feed cattle. You know, it, it like was not tasty. And to me, that's so weird because it's so easy to come by delicious corn on here, you know? Dude, please talk about Tagu'u Movie Average Joe. All right, well, Sam uh, and his brother have a Sunday night show on our channel called Trailer Boys, where they watch movie trailers. And uh, some stalker fan of ours who knows too much about me uh, linked a trailer to Average Joe. And... Uh, Average Joe is a recut of a movie that I was in at the time called Now Hiring back in 2014. And it's just some fr a friend of a very long time old friend of mine who's involved in the film industry in San Antonio, Austin area. 
wanted me to do a little bit in the movie, a little part. So I did. It, it's, a, it's a superhero comedy kind of thing. And then I guess years later, someone else must have bought it and recut it called Average Joe. I have no idea about Average Joe. Average Joe is the name of the hero in the movie. But, I mean, I don't fucking know. But the movie I did was called Now Hiring. And I played a superhero obsessed, that tracks, um, cop, that doesn't track, and um, it was a lot of fun. I, I was long haired and extremely fat at the time, and uh, one of the guys that played my, you know, so it was all indie film, like the only people that even really done much national TV stuff before is me, and then Camden Toy played the villain. Camden Toy, you probably might not know his face, but you would know his work. He's been in, he played Monsters and Buffy and lots of other movies. So anyways, um, so it was a lot of fun doing it, and um, yeah, I don't know if now hiring is findable anymore, but I guess Average Joe is. I haven't seen the Average Joe cut, so I have no idea if I'm even fucking in it, but um, I was just like playing an idiot, and you know, I improv a lot of silly lines. I even put in a Whitest Kids reference at one point. I just randomly say, I'm going to go take a shit and leave, which is kind of like a daring line that he would do. Um, yeah, it was fun to do. What's not fun is shooting in a parking lot in an abandoned factory in San Antonio in August when it was like 110 outside, so the factory was like 130, you know? No, I'm not a Buffy fan, but uh, I was there. Hey, Martin, resubscribing. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we got our burger patties, our, our burger steaks. I got four ready to go here. And, uh,. Basically, you just start cooking them like you would burgers if you're cooking burgers in a pan instead of on a grill. Meanwhile, we are going to start cutting up vegetables. I gotta cut up a vegetable for this, actually, so we'll do that one first. Yeah, they're about a. They're about a two third pound each for burgers. Me watching my calories right now. Not very well most days, but today I've been doing well. I only have one. But... No, I mean, they probably just came up with it too, Link. I mean, it's like, it's not like it's that unique of a thought, you know? <laughs> So what do they want with this onion? They want it uh, thinly sliced. Oops, got some skin on there. Oh, I gotta get more of it all soon. All right, so uh, wait, what is that? It's a sloth button, a sloth, sloth button, it's a sloth button, sloth, sloth button, button. Hey, everybody. Yeah, it does have a fast. I'm a quick draw on that goddamn sloth button. Tell you what. All right, I like that. I don't know French counting. Trois, right? Trois. Cause horse. That's super incorrect. Okay. I'm gonna smush them down. I'm gonna turn up the heat just a smudge. Oh yeah. All right, so right now my pan looks like this. I'm gonna let these babies cook undisturbed for a few minutes. Where's 
here's my doohickey. Here we go. There's the spiralizer. What was the original chimney movie named? It was now hiring. You're lucky I read chat. A lot of people are not lucky I read chat, but you are. Okay. One guy, one jar. <laughs> yeah, this is the knife that Carter Cutlery made for me and sent. And, uh, you know, they sent along a bunch of videos of how you take care of a knife, which I didn't watch, and I have not taken great care. There's a dent in it, and I just lost an onion slice because I'm a moron. Anyways, I'm trying to be better about it. And the, the thing is, is the kind of anxiety, ADHD kind of cocktail, OCD and depression a little bit too that I have. I uh, always am just itching to blame things on myself. So that's one of them. So maybe I'm being too hard on myself, but I don't want to, you know, I want to respect the cool stuff, you know? Uh, let's do two more, eh, three more minutes. Three more minutes is fine. Okay, so the onion's ready. What do you sharpen your knives with? I have a little knife sharpener for my shitty ones. I haven't figured out what to sharpen my good ones with yet. Thank you. Thank you, Allegra, yes. I'm almost down here, too. Speaking of which, I was at uh, Warp Tour in 2000. 2000. And, uh... Up here in the Midwest, every once in a while, the Warp Tour would intersect with other touring groups. And one year it intersected with No Doubt and Lit. That was Lit. My own was the enemy, you know? So, uh, yeah, they're terrible. But uh, they got booed off the stage because they're, they're playing... Not too long before no effects at Warp Tour. Jurassic 5 played right before no effects, and uh, I guess they went over their time, which is fine because they're great, but uh, no effects came out and I guess was making fun of them. And one of the Jurassic 5 guys was like, no effects, more like no respect. And everyone was like, like, that's their deal. <laughs> that's their whole deal. pretty fast and I'm gonna I'm, I'm getting the onion off onion the oven on warm just to have that good to go so now I'm going to prepare the summer squash yeah and I've heard that crime eyes because that is they uh, they put that Howard Stern comment on the end of so long and thanks for all the shoes maybe your dishwasher's open yeah let's clean stuff don't worry about it but thank you Okay, um, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be spiralizing this. See, I don't even remember how to use this thing. What's the big thing hanging over by the calendar? Uh, this? This is some artwork my daughter made and there's also two fly swatters a few episodes ago. Oh, was it the last episode? Because it's been a while since I did this. Um, I fucking uh, killed the fly. Right there. Okay, I think you just do this. Maybe I'm supposed to peel it? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's working. See, last time I used too big of a chunk. This is like perfect. So long and thanks for all the shoes is the best no effects album, yes or yes. Well, Crime Eyes, here's the thing. I'm a different person, so I'm going to like different things. And I think the most, the best no effects album is uh, White Trash, Two Heaps, and a Bean. I think that album fucking rules. So, kiss my butt. I'm just kidding. Okay, so you want them to get a nice dark color. Yeah, they're getting there. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to flip them now. Okay. Now I'm going to wash that off. 
Okay, so right now the bottom side of the hamburger steaks looks like this. Oh, listen to that goddamn sizzle, huh? Looking good. Alright, let's continue spiralizing with a little bastard over here, huh? And if I get done with my food too quickly tonight, I'm gonna play Fallout. It's a game about falling off of things. Thank you, Gabarina. Hello. Bilbo Swaggins is resubscribing. Thank you, Bilbo. I never robbed the librarian. Yeah. Oh, I don't do that. Yeah, BZ didn't want to do that. Look at Um, And I don't even know where I am in the original Fallout right now. Maybe I'll start a game of Fallout 2. I was playing Fallout 1 quite a bit on Zook Boys after cooking, but it's been months and months. Okay, so at that warp tour, there's a. What the fuck is this? Look at that, that it's hanging out of this. That's disgusting. Is that TOS? Is that TOS? Banned. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Yo, someone just resubscribed for seven months because of that. <laughs> Father Taylor, come on. Gabrino's on board. All right, thank you. Raw dogging zucchini with hummus. Yeah, that's good. Quarter House or Delmonico? Hamburger, baby. All right, uh, we're going to be done with that. Oh, there's another one. There's another zucchini dick. If that's not the best cover of Wits by Ellen Worst Enemy you've ever heard, then you're fucking wrong! Okay, so... Now, here's the thing, is the first time I tried to spiralize a zucchini on this show, I used to big of a zucchini, it didn't work, but I was gonna have a recipe. This time, it looks great, but I don't have a recipe. So, we're just gonna fucking wing it! That don't the song slaps? Oh, maybe that song does slap. Okay, so at that warp tour, Lick got booed off the stage. No, no doubt did. I guess they were all right. I was never a huge No Doubt fan, but I respect them, and uh, they did all right. And um, who else was there? Oh, so there was this. Uh, there's this Minneapolis ska band that was great called Animal Chin. Shout out if you heard of them, but. Uh, Uh, the lead singer Animal Chin is apparently kind of a dickhead, and he uh, had another pop band, like pop, power pop band, called The Stereo, and they were all right. And so we're watching The Stereo, one of their first ever concerts, and uh, they were uh, performing and doing stuff, you know, just doing their pop punk kind of love song, and then a stage right near them started, and it goes, whoop, oh, just like that. And it was uh, six feet under. <laughs> they were at Warp Tour for some fucking reason. And uh, it was fantastic. New Barb is stopping. You might be mad that I did that noise. He's very passive aggressive. Now he's dropping things. So, uh, anyways, it was pretty great to see Six Feet Under, like, scare off a bunch of power pop dudes. Alright, how are these looking on the bottom? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, so these are not anywhere near ready, okay? 
these are very raw in the middle still probably but that step was all about getting the color right okay so that is hopefully what's happening this is what they look like right now okay these are the hamburger steaks to be right look pretty fucking good IMO we're going to cover them up with a lid just to retain that heat and now you're supposed to uh, siphon off all but about two tablespoons worth of grease okay where's my hot glove there we go Um, yeah, there's not really that much in there, but yeah, all right, yeah. All right, time for the seven spoke butthole pot holder made by Hold On and Hang On months ago. Very nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this into something. We're getting a little smoky in here. You don't want the thing to go off. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is scraping ASMR? It is a little bit, right? Okay. I don't know quite how to do this. I, th I always forget about grease handling. Yeah. Please email me a hamber steak. <laughs> Ape Toaster, whenever, whenever any Ape Toaster says, please, Timmy, no more pigtails. Which, uh, I'm not going to jump to conclusions. So why don't you tell me, Ape Toaster, what your problem, why don't you like to, why do you, why are you asking me not to have pigtails anymore? I'm going to be very honest. I'm going to be nice about your opinion and uh, not judge you. Hey, everybody's piping and saying they love it. Okay, I love them too. Let's give this person a chance. Because whenever someone doesn't like the pigtails, wanders into this conversation, I want to see what they say. They are good for sitting. You don't care that much? Okay, but I really want to know. What was your problem with the pigtails? Alright, cool. Space buns? I could. It looks cooler down. Okay. Hey, that's a fair opinion. That's great. You know, that's fine. I, I thank you. The reason I actually, I do like it down too sometimes. The reason I put it up for this is because ask my daughter. She's gone through a lot of floss, a lot of mouthwash since I have had long hair because when I cook with my hair down, hair is in fucking everything. So that's why I... Even, uh, obviously a ponytail works good too, but you know, pigtails, it keeps them out of the way. So that's why, literally, uh, to keep hair out of food. That's why I started doing it, and I'm like, well, this looks kind of fun and interesting. I think fans would think it was funny, you know, so. I am definitely a shedder. A ponytail and pigtails. Yeah, I'm not even sure where that would be, right? Um, okay, so, well, Bud Bud, I don't, keep my goatee very long i'm in a long distance relationship and my girlfriend does not like facial hair uh you know which is like but i'm not you know and i don't care like if i care to be like fuck you i gotta keep the goat but i don't care so but you know i'm currently a few weeks out from seeing her again so i'll just let it grow for a bit you know So I'm just kind of, I've never been good at cutting tomatoes. So I'm just kind of uh, murdering these tomatoes to throw in with the uh, spiralized zucchini. We're also gonna start warming up the grill. Liberty spiked dreads. You, you have the same oven, you know, when the timer on the oven goes off, a lot of people are like, wait a minute, what? Paralyzed Zucchini be a good warp tour name. I feel like you'd have to be either like a shitty white reggae band or a ska band. 
which if you ask most of my friends, they'd say is the same thing. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? Okay. We continue actually cooking the hamburger steaks for now. And we get the grill. Somebody tells me not to have the grill and the pressure cooker near each other. Right? Doesn't that seem like it makes sense? So, we're going to do this. Onions go in there. He was a little Timmy pig clock. Timmy pig clock under his clock. A little Timmy pig clock. Actually, I might want some of those spices for the spiralized zucchini. Right okay, an electric grill, what you do, I put a little liquid smoke in there. Right at the top of the show, if anybody didn't see it. And I just put a little water in. And then to tell you what I'm going to do with this. Now we will start testing our corn cooking, right? Now, I, I wasn't talking about outlets. I didn't want them together because you got like a hot thing and an explosive thing. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Okay, so corn. Now, if you ever watch this show and think it's crazy that I uh, multi-cook all the time, it's what I always do. Two little hands that tell us the time. Perfect. I was referencing this song. That I forget which fan it was, but something bird, right? He made a really great ska song based on the guys calling me Little Timmy Pig Dick that one time. So I was, I was weird owling. A weird song. Salvador Traco, uh, send me a, go to our Whitest Kids Reddit and you can uh, submit art there or uh, put on Twitter and tag me. Don't send in a message because those image files don't always work. Okay, so I've got the corn down to like one or two layers of husk. And here's how I grow corn. Okay, so next up we're going to be boiling the corn. Oh, I gotta stir these onions. Okay, so next up we're gonna boil some. Thank you to Cat Tuba and Bilbo Swaggins and Zombie Blender for resubscribing. Well, I see the tip of this is eaten off by some something, so let's just tear that off. Okay, and I'm probably uh, ignoring the onions a little bit, so which you, I don't know, I do a lot. It just turns them into smoky onions, so it's fine. I'm sure there's a lot of food aficionados that sigh when I say stuff like that. It's okay. Oh, the grease is supposed to be in there. What a fucking moron. Oh, well. There we go. Now the onion's cooking better. <laughs> Oops. There we go. We gotta go now, Barb. Okay. I'm not gonna throw this in quite yet. 
Okay, so next up we need a half cup of water. We're gonna start making the hamburger steak gravy. Here's the thing, the hamburger steaks, I've got the oven uh, warmed up, so I'm gonna finish the hamburger steaks and then just, uh, you know, put them in the uh, oven or warm while I get the other stuff going. Oh, have I ever had gooey butter cake? Uh, yes. I believe, was it, uh, I know somebody sent me some once. I think it was, hold on, hang on. Okay. Undiluted French onion soup mix. Okay. So there's that. Brown gravy mix. Real fancy. Okay. All right, now you bring all this to a boil. Being a Twin Peaks fan, I'm gonna bring it to a Laura Flynn boil. Or maybe if you're a fan of Fire Walk With Me, it's not what you do. Anyways, she wouldn't do that movie. All right, I'm gonna turn this up and get it going to a boil. Oh, boil, come a bubbling down in the middle. We don't do the soil. What do you rate onions on a one out of one through ten? Uh, ten. I put them in fucking everything. All right, so that's starting to boil already. Let's get the uh, get our cup of water in the old instant pot. Did I do that already? No. Okay, we gotta get the instant pot corn going. To do that, actually, that one I already shocked. I'm just gonna put in there. So when I cook corn in the instant pot, it's a little, this is a little tall, so one of these. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I put a cup of water in there, always a cup of water with most, most vegetables in the instant pot, okay? Then I just, yeah, you're just supposed to like stand them up, so I'm going to do that. I don't know, here, that's what they look like, so they're just standing up. Okay, so put those in here. And I believe you just do like two minutes, maybe three. Let's see. We'll do two. See how it goes. Okay. Meanwhile, the onions are getting boiling. Oh, this looks real good already, so I'm going to show it off. Where's the hot glove now? Man, we should play a game called, like, Find Timmy's Gray Hot Glove. So this is a gravy that I'm about to put the... Oh, well, look at all that steam. I'm about to put the hamburger steaks in there. Look at that shit. Huh? Yes. Onion and gravy mix and French onion soup. A bunch of stuff. My favorite kind of coffee? Black as my soul is what I tell waitresses. And they laugh. They never laugh. Alrighty. Alright, now we reduce this to a simmer. And we're going to put the steaks back in there. Anybody hear that little song just now? Okay, and so now I've got the burgers in there, the steaks really. Oh, and then you gotta stir in Worcestershire sauce, right? I forgot to do that. Shit.
and let it boil in there. Is it okay? Alrighty. Yeah, you guys like to smell Worcestershire sauce? Mm. Okay. All right, let's see how the corn's looking. You're pretty nicely grilled on one side. See that? Not bad. Obviously, could use some more. So, I'm gonna turn it for now. We got one more here. We'll boil it, huh? Well, this one's got some eating off stuff on it too. How, are I, how am I grilling indoors? It's an electric grill. My mom found it at a thrift store a long time ago. It's a very weird and funny invention, but uh, it works. It fucking does the job. <coughs> Excuse me, holy shit. Have I ever gone to a cornfield for a party? Yeah. Um, yes. Several field parties in my day. From the Midwest, you know, find a field, go do drugs and drink in it, you know. Gravel pit, go to a gravel pit. Uh, abandoned farm. Have I done steaks on the electric grill? Um, I don't know. I think so. I'm not a big steak eater, but uh, one year my boss gave me a bunch. So. Observatron asking Nate, Sam's brother who helps edit this stuff, if uh, we can edit out my burp, uh, so which is pretty disrespectful of people who uh, get off on burps. Yeah. Okay. So I'm chopping up this tomato and garlic to just kind of do whatever to the spiralized zucchini. Not really sure what's going to happen there. But I want to give a shot. At least it looks nice. Right? And now the corn is going in the instant pot, which means I'll throw this one in. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. No, wait. We're going to do four, and we're going to do it on the pig timer. This is actually my daughter. She got it for her birthday. Oh, we can't set it by the mic because it gets fucking loud. We'll put it over here. All right, chaos theory. I think you were in here before complaining about how people treat Worcestershire sauce. So that is the right way. I just said it, right? All right, so these steaks are looking good. I'm going to do... I have my meat thermometer somewhere. Let's see. Worcestershire, okay. And so this is a new uh, cutting board because uh, my white one I already used on the stream got stinky. So the uh, zucchini will be ready. I'm going to be cooking that soon. Not right now. I'm just going to wait till the burgers are done and cook on that. that right there.
All right, butter, salt and pepper, and a little tiny house. Tongs. And the first contestant is gonna be Instant Pot pressure cooked corn. Not looking too bad. All right, second contestant is boiled corn, which is now ringing. Okay, there's that one. Yeah, they're all very photogenic cobs, I would say. And let's see how this lady's doing here, huh? Let me ready. Let's see. Ooh, it's nice and steamy inside. I mean, let's be honest, there's probably no way the other ones are going to beat this, but I just don't know if it's quite ready yet. No, I'm not going to do that. Hold on. I'm seeing if it's done. Okay. It's definitely soft enough, but it's not warm enough. Do these uh, steaks need to fucking speed up? The status of Mars. Um, we're uh, still making it. There is a. Uh, they've been working on the animation in the. Uh, the animatics were done not that long ago, so. Right now they're just doing the work as far as I know. Probably the least glamorous part of it, you know? It's the other part of the instant pot. Alright, so now. We're gonna get this shit going too. And uh, for the uh, spiralized summer sausage, or summer sausage one, that'd be nice, S summer squash, I'm going to wing it. So I'm going to put some avocado oil in there just because I never use this. Okay, get that going. Throw the garlic in there. Is Mars going to have sexy high schoolers like an anime? <laughs> um, I literally think any... We have a few children being voiced by children. Besides that, it's going to be us, so... Any sexy high schoolers will have horrible voices. One movie guy resubscribing for six months? Or nine months, thank you very much. And thanks for helping me learn how to read. Okay. So right now I'm just uh, cooking up some garlic in the uh, avocado oil. Then I'm going to throw this in there. That's really all I'm going to do. And I'll put some seasoning on it and see what happens. Now let's try this corn, huh? This is probably fine too. And when you grill it like this, you can eat it that way. It's kind of hot, but you can do it. You know? huh? Okay, it's pretty hot. All right. Okay, so we're going to get some butter and some salt and pepper going. Because, yeah, I mean, good sweet corn, you don't even need that stuff on. So, actually, I'll try it with it and without it. So each contestant here on... Uh, Corndry. We'll, we'll get both uh, naked and uh, buttered and salted peppered entry. Now the spiralized summer, so summer squash is all in there. 
I guess when I said summer sausage, someone said I was quoting, I think you should leave, but really I'm just uh, thinking about sausage all the time. And that's why people always bother me about hot dogs, because I thought about sausage so much that Trevor wrote a sketch about it. All right. for drinks not anything alcoholic we got I accidentally bought caffeinated bubbly and that okay so let's try okay the, the kind that I have the least faith in is the instant potted kind so oh yeah we're not gonna do the buddy yet okay here we go instant potted corn Perfectly done. Very tasty. Pretty normal corn, right? It tastes like good corn. Let's put some more spices and things in here, huh? Let's do a. Uh, <laughs> All right, it's not going too badly. Ah, hard as I can do. It's a pot. Okay, boil. Also good. It tastes a little more undone. I probably could have boiled it for another minute. But very similar to the Instant Pot. Now, the grilled. Yes, potato salad is not hard to get. Hard boiled eggs, if you're making real potato salad. And uh, cook the potatoes however you want. Let me give this a stir first. Getting a little worried. Oh, I'm speaking of worried, I don't know what's going on with those hamburger sticks. Let's try it. Flipping them. I mean, they're fine. You know, but, oh, that's some pretty thick gunk on the bottom of the pan because I've been letting them just cook for a while. It's okay, though. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I fucked up the bottom of my pan. That's okay. That's why... Cast irons are cool, you can fuck them up and fix them. Okay. Let's 
Let's throw some tomatoes in there since I think it's about done. Oh wow, it's coming off the burner. Okay. Are we almost done with the cooking portion? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Alright, how about that grilled corn? Here we go. Good. The rule is a little better. Okay. My kinkers are reacting up. They don't like wising. <laughs> Let's stick beef with my favorite chat comment of the night. Why am I captivated by this grown man staring at me and eating corn? That's what she said, bro. Sidecar, hello. The uh, spiralized stuff is over here burning, probably. I should try it since I, I'm doing that one without a net. Okay, let's check out a hamburger steak. So, my corn ranking, I think they all worked. Here's the point. Well, first let me do the ranking. ADHD. Okay. I would say number three would be instant pot. Number two, boiled. Once you get once you get the your water boiling, salted water, you boil the corn for this size, about four minutes. If it's a little bigger, do five. Um, so I would say three is instant pot. Two would be the boiled and the best way that I cook corn tonight drum roll grilled corn I just threw it right down there in the husk so. oh yeah oh yeah I think this is, there's a little bit of pink in there this is fucking good looking babies alright and I'm cutting them up and you know fuck it it's fine um, yeah, these are fine. These are good. All right. Let's eat some motherfucking food. As you might know, I don't eat much before. A little bit of leftover homemade cornbread from last night, which was in that instant pan, or instant pan, the uh, cast iron. But I don't normally eat a whole lot before the show, so I'm starving, and I'm ready. I'm excited. And I have no idea what this spiralized stuff's going to be like. So hopefully I don't end up throwing it out. Alright. Corn. going to eat the rest of my Instant Pot one. And my grilled corn. Shit, I'm going to eat it all. I'll just have a lot of corn. Why not? A lot of band name talk tonight. You guys want me to have different bands. You never... Oh, yeah, something you have for band music from before. So, that makes you extra insane. Where's the fucking thing that I fucking... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta check some things because I'm counting calories these days. What's the stove element taste like? I don't know what that means. Okay, so. Alright. So, I gave myself about a cup of. for this. Jesus Christ, I'm really doing the thing now, aren't I? What the fuck? The element is the part of the stuff that gets hot. Holy shit, why did I not know that? Anyways, hi. Um, it's electric. <laughs> Dolphin Wizard, when you said 
You're trying to say that you had a band called H.P. Lovecraft? You missed the, the D and I thought you said you had a band called Calle H.P. Lovecraft, like Spanish for street? That'd be pretty cool too. All right, now I did this with the skin, which I'm already kind of wondering if maybe I shouldn't have, but we'll see. And all I did was put some salt, pepper, garlic powder in there, cooked it in avocado oil, threw in some tomato and garlic that I wanted to get rid of. So that's the, uh, we'll do the whole plate. I've been asked by our editors to show the whole plate for a long amount of time so they can make a little thing for it. You know what I mean. Okay. All right, there's a lot of stringy food tonight. It's okay. But here we are. Here we are, born to be kings, where the princes of Hamburger steaks. There, Nate, is that a good picture for you to use? Who did I meet first, Zach or Sam? You know what's crazy? I actually, Zach and Sam are the whitest kids I met first, but I met them at like the same exact time. Maybe I met Sam a little earlier. But, like, we're talking about minutes. All right, let's see. I'm a little nervous about this spiralized summer squash, so let's see what we got here. There really is spaghetti-ish, though, isn't it? All right. That's good. Next time I peel it, besides that, it's great. But the peel does not make it inedible. Thank you to Nug Caleb for resubscribing. Hellcat Coral gifting some more subs. Very nice. Thank you, everybody. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to put some... The corn's not that hot anymore, but we can still put butter on it. So, you guys know uh, the movie Mad Max Fury Road? It's a good one. I tweeted not that long ago that the big dumb guy, uh, what's his name, that Max was? Anyways, that every morning I wake up imagining the way that he, the expression he makes after he samples some breast milk. Here we go. Hmm. Sidecar. If the peel's too thick on them, peel them and then spiralize them, but otherwise it's good. The spiralizer cost me like 10 bucks at Target. Sidecar and I live in the same town. He gives me vegetables. Mmm. Erdo Tali, that's a great suggestion. Thank you. All right, let's eat this motherfucking hamburger steak, right? Yes. That's what I'll say to that is yes. not pink in the middle at all. I probably could have cooked it a little less, but it's still good. Mm. Who's Jonathan Davis? Oh, <laughs> good joke, Chaos Theory. Thank you. Man, I love it when a plan comes together.
Yes, I would make this all again. Absolutely. I've made the hamburger steaks before. And I'm from the Midwest, so I've made corn a thousand times. Although, when I was in Rhode Island a few weeks ago, my girlfriend and I made corn out there that she got. And it was good out there, too. I mean, they got farms. You know, it's the time of year. I mean, it's good. Stop the meat puppet is here with unwarranted advice. Unasked for, whatever. Shouldn't drink that caffeinated bubbly sport. Whatever. I'm going to because I accidentally bought it. I'm more of a steak guy or ribs guy. No, I don't eat a lot of either, but I'd say ribs. <laughs> well, I'm calling this one. It's about done. Dolphin Wizard. I'm not trying to be mean. Are you stoned right now? Because uh, this is literally what I made is fried hamburger sticks. I just didn't have them with collards, but I should try collards sometime. That'd be fun. Because, yeah, the hamburger steak thing is like southern. <laughs> Brent says, Timmy, have you ever had cord three ways with your hamburger stick dinner? <laughs> mm, mm. That's a good hamburger steak. Fuck. I didn't end up needing the oven to be warmed up. That's good. Oh. There you go. Poking? No, it's just like that. No, I don't really know what it is. Poke, right? It's called poke. I agree, Nick, and I'm just chewing. Yeah, Dolphin, no problem. It's funny. It's fine, man. No, I, uh... Yeah, I fried them up in that pan. We're calling it down on the grilled corn. Let's see some more instant pot corn. Your BLT wrap finished at the same time as your food. Dude, I love BLTs. My daughter and I made those this week. Uh, we normally do BLATs with avocado. And sometimes BLA, no, TBLATs with turkey bacon. You got to the trailer. Ready? There we go. <laughs> Holy fuck. Sorry. Whoa. I think I just died. Every time I burp, someone subscribes right at the same time. Thank you to Malahala for subscribing, just for the burps. Timmy, please, east more corn. Okay, that's north, so that's east. Garmambosia? Dude, uh, do I have a... You want Garmambosia? Garmambosia. Garmambosia. I always got garbambosia on hand. My daughter loves garbambosia. Garbambosia is a reference to Twin Peaks. It started in Fire Walk with me, right? And it's uh, basically a creamed corn that the demons eat that's supposed to be pain and suffering cooked down, right?
don't know if I call them demons or not, but a lot of the characters that inhabit the Black Lodge and Red Room are definitely some sort of evil spirits. What do we got? 826? I could play a little, maybe get Fallout 2 started, huh? Well, I don't even know if I have it installed, though. Excuse me. Man, I'm burpy. Oh, it's a burp sauce. Oof. I'll tell you what, this hamburger steak is the best I've ever made it. Holy shit. G light form. Fire Emblem, no, those are JRPGs, right? Okay, people asking for the recipe for the hamburger steak. I have a Twitter account, a Facebook account, and an Instagram account. Every time before I do Zucchini Boys at about 11 or 12 that day, earlier, 11 a.m. or noon, I post about doing the show, and I always include the recipes. Hi, Gabrino. It is delicious. The spiralized summer squash is good. The corn was great. I'd say grilled corn was the best, but the Instant Pots and boil were also good. And the hamburger steak is fucking great. My Twitter is Timmy is a nerd. My Instagram is Timmy Williams is pretty. My Facebook, I'm just Timmy Williams. Crimea, it's the same thing. Zucchini noodles and spiralized zucchini. Nope. Oh. oh, man. I'm starting to get full. Should we play? I can play Fallout for a little bit. Or what if I, uh... Hmm. I want to do something more chill. I'm still here. Hold on, what? Yeah, I agree with Trotter Taylor. It's really silly to say that hamburger steak is a hamburger without a bun. There's gravy all over this. Oh my god, what just happened? Oh my god, the sloth button got stuck. I'm sorry. Oh, man, that's crazy. Okay, I need something else.
Oh, oh no, there's my belly. Oh, TOS. Oh, that's a good stretch though. Holy shit. Oh. Consider doing a menu inspired by the food described in Game of Thrones. No, but the Redwall books. I, wish, I should do a Redwall recipe. Uh, nice Redwall. You didn't know about it. There are a series of books that came out starting in the late '80s about mice with swords and shit. Anytime. G A B. Uh. Anyways, uh, mice with swords, and the uh, the writer Brian. Jake's, I think that's how you say his last name, was incredible at describing food. Clooney the motherfucking scourge, you're right, Lissandra, all right. Rackety Tam, yeah, there's people with that stuff in there. I'm about to read Moss Flower for the first time in fucking 30 years. I'm loving how many people are into Red Wall right now, it's great. <laughs> Deeper and upper pie, right? Could be hot root and turnip soup, right? Red wall and red dwarf. <laughs> Have I done a soup show? Yeah. I think when it gets colder, I'll do another one. My food's great, thank you. Yeah, I'm not as into the fact that I left a peel on that summer squash, but other than that. Um, right now, I just started reading this. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I recently said I wanted to find out more about steampunk culture. And that is Morlock Knight, written in 1979. It was written as a sequel to The Time Machine. So I reread The Time Machine recently, which is great, from H.G. Wells. So K.W. Jeter, who's somebody who co they coined the term steampunk. So I thought I should start there. It's great so far. It's basically a sequel to The Time Machine. Um, someone says, imagine reading, what a nerf. Imagine looking at what you type before you hit enter. Okay. Saltiest dog is resubscribing. Thank you. I think I just proved maybe that's, you're not the saltiest, but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, I think I'm going to, uh, play something, a game for a second. Not Fallout, something else. Favorite bubbly? Not this. Oh, if you like Time Machine and want to read the sequel, obviously it wasn't written by the same guy, he was long dead, but Morlock Knight. So basically it's about more about the Morlock culture from the Time Machine. William Gibson wrote a, one of the earlier steampunk books, apparently, too. So, anyways, I have something I want to, I don't know, I wanted to find out about, a little bit about steampunky stuff in case I want to incorporate it into something, so. You know, in a costume to go to conventions with and be annoying. <laughs> I talked to two of my very old nerdy, nerdy, nerdy friends today. Shout out to... SD Pride and what is what does the other one go by on the internet? I forget. Anyways, long time friends and uh, I was asking them about steampunk stuff and I was like, yeah, the only experience I have with steampunk is they were like, you know, the most annoying people at the conventions. <laughs> I'm like, at least the furries were fucking right. <laughs> That's terrible. 
Okay. Some of you are suggesting cyberpunk, not steampunk. Neuromancer is cyberpunk. William Gibson, although he wrote a steampunk book, uh, is mostly a cyberpunk guy. Steampunk was created as a term to make fun of. Or like a goofy term as a playoff of cyberpunk. Steampunk is like that Victorian stuff with uh, goggles and lots of gears, you know, airships. Cream punk? <laughs> I don't know about that. No. Okay. So, I'm going to turn on a game for a little bit and then go away. All right.
All right, can you all hear me now? Yeah, you can probably hear me too well. Okay. So I need to get the Razer microphone going. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not working. Wait, yeah, I do. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, you can't hear that. Man, this is... I always forget how to do this part. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Is that working? No? God damn it. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Do, 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 do. This is a good Lego game. I don't know why the sound is being shitty, but uh, it is. Can you, you guys can't hear game audio, can you? No? Game audio or no? Give me a, give me a clue. No game on you. Thank you. All right. Get this shit figured out. Oh, no. I don't want to die. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Jeez, he's being loud up there tonight. He's just fucking stomping around. Why do people... I know there's no game on you. You can stop telling me now. <laughs> Overly helpful? Is that a thing? I guess. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I've had this problem before, and I don't remember why. Well, that didn't do anything. Okay. Oh, I think I know. Okay, we do this. Hey, do we have game audio now or what? Yeah, 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 that's it's good, yeah. Oh boy. Is it too loud or too good or too quiet? I gotta pause again before I want to die. Oh shit, hit the wrong button. Okay. Fixy soundy, okay. Alrighty. Well, thanks to everybody hanging in there while I had some, uh, issues okay so uh i'm towards the end of the story missions for lego marvel super heroes 2 um this is a mission where you're in the avengers mansion is getting attacked by ego the living planet and you're trying to go meet up with the guardians of the galaxy and this is a the thing is is you're in this world it's like a bunch of different times and realities mixed together And so this is Spider-Man 2090. Well, I'm Black Bolt from the Inhumans right now. Here's Spider-Man 2099. Noticing something. Whoa! This is Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Timmy Williams with Tanker Sores. I ate a lot of good, uh, which are uh, ulcers and not herpes. I ate a lot of good food. I had hamburger steak. Oh, it still says it in the scream, scream, stream description, doesn't it? I gotta change that big. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Go 
going for all the mini kits? Uh, no, you don't go for the mini kits on your first playthrough. Um, because you're just not going to have, when you do story mode, you only get the characters for the story, so you're not going to have all the abilities you need to do all the mini kits. So I'll go through on free play. Right now I'm trying to get the, the meter on every mission, though, for sure. And this is a spin drift. Zach threw me under the... Yeah, um, it tastes kind of like wine. My daughter picked that one. I wonder if that's why. She's 10. Okay. Loading slowly. Am I getting lag now? No, it's probably me trying to do too many things at once with my stupid old computer. Hold on. Oh my god, what the fuck, man. Alright, give me a second. Stupid ass fucking... God damn it. Man, sometimes I just don't have all the shit I want. As in a laptop, I could do more than one thing at once. Okay, uh... Almost done with the leggy part. Sorry, it's not even going to be worth it because I'm not going to play this for very long. Okay. But if Ron Giant was here, he's always telling me, make sure I update the stream, so I got to be a good streamer and do it. You know, I got to do the thing. Okay, should be better now. Oh, oh God, this is bad for my back. Who do we have, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, alright. Thanks to everybody for hanging out, and, oh, I'm gonna toot, you might hear it. Anyways, you might like that. I'm not sure how it works. Is that a thing you blow up? No? Alright. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the studs built the stud meter. <laughs> You know, like sex? Like sexy people? Yeah. Short talk, Taylor, that's the kind of advice I'm probably not supposed to give. So technically, there's a lot of advice I'm not supposed to give about insurance. How big is the roster in this game? Well, I'm in story mode right now, so I can't pick beyond the three people I have right now, but uh, it's big. Yeah, you can't even select. Just trust me, okay? It's really big and impressive. Trust me. Well, I forget what you do here. Okay. Oh, thank you, Prophets Like It's Hot. Thank you for, well, I just butchered your name, but thanks for hanging out. So, Black Bolt has a powerful voice. Gifting subs, you're up to 104 gifts. You're amazing, thank you. Andy Mac resubscribing. Preach, much preach. Oh, 
don't miss any coins though. Well, I don't know what it says. No, you're gifting. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Whatever. You resubscribe, that's what I meant. I, I don't like know how anything works. Just remember that. Okay, so I can't go there, I can go in here. Oh. Oh. We have to go out and back in? accomplish here. Oh, stuff. Yes, McStink can be if he did. My daughter and I have launched an epic reviewing of all of the MCU movies, which uh, she hasn't seen a lot of them. Um, we watched Iron Man 1 a few nights ago, and last night we watched The Incredible Hulk. And The Incredible Hulk is going to, or uh, The Abomination, who's the villain of Incredible Hulk, is going to be in uh, the Shang-Chi movie, which I didn't look, know this. I thought I always thought it was Shang Chi because I'm a dumb white guy. But in the uh, trailer, they say it's Shang Chi. No idea. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be doing something right now. <laughs> That's it. The link's established. Now what? Okay. Now you just need to align the satellite network to each other so it creates a resonance feedback wave at the right frequency for us to focus into. Oh no, there's bad guys. Point them at each other. That's not really interesting, you just said that. No one likes a smarty pants show off. Am I missing any coins back here right now? Oh! Not a thing. Oh, and there were coins. Did I like Black Widow? Yeah, I, th I actually thought it was pretty good. Whoa. That scorpion robot looks like a, a, a rock. I'm kidding, uh, Ralph William, but yeah, you're, you're right, it's not. What is this now? Come on, fucking kill this motherfucker. Alright. Maybe someone else needs to be playing it. Ah, oh, shit, I still died. Yeah, Abomination is Tim Roth, yeah. Do I think they did the Hulk justice? Yes, I do think you could do... Maybe it's time to do a Hulkbuster movie or something, you know, but... Power nerfing throughout the films was weird. You know, I just never pay attention to that kind of stuff. Maybe I'm bad at them. Hey, Tony, they're linked. You should be good to go. Great. Now we just need to. Wait, what? Where did the power go? We've lost power, Team Two. We'll need you to get it back up. Then. Of course. However, the scoundrels have destroyed most of the equipment. Okay, team. Look around for a way to restore the power. Sure thing, Cap. Let's do this. All right, we got White Tiger. He hasn't even shown up yet until now. Let's go. Oh no, yeah, you, you played this earlier. Earlier. All right, and Cap and normal Cap and normal Thor. Well, they're supposed to be like the movie version. 
That's the whole reason we work as a team. So every level, if you've never played Lego games before, you gotta fill up that little black and gold meter so it's all gold. You fill it up by getting these little coins, and the thing is, if you die, you lose them. So it can be kind of hard to get them filled up in the regular story missions, but that's what I'm trying to do. What, are we making a snowman? Yay! Ha! Oh, White Tiger can do digging stuff? Oh. Snowman. <laughs> can I get in there? Hmm. I guess I can do something else first. There we go. There we go. What? Still not? What am I not doing now? Man, no, nah, just something I'm not doing. I'll figure it out soon. Could I ever do the beehive hairdo? That's a great idea. I gotta keep looking for something to make that work. I'm not sure I'm missing something. There's coins hidden here. Once I beat this level, I'm gonna go, by the way. I'm just doing all the one thing tonight. I already made a bunch of food. Yeah, you know, yeah, let me rest. Isn't that a really good Simpsons joke where someone goes, you're fired, and he goes, and a good cause. I'm not supposed to go that okay. What am I not doing here? If 
you could have a superpower, what would it be? Teleportation. So I can go anywhere I wanted to and visit people that I miss. And then also uh, knowing how to... I, the ability to enter any hotel room shower and instantly know how to operate it. What am I not doing here? I feel like I'm missing something. No one man should have all that power. <laughs> oh, there we go. No? Shit. No, oh, there we go. Finally figured it out. Jesus. We got some uh, wind farm propellers. Where's the redneck to spout made up packs about them so we don't need them? What about the birds? Panini, did you go watch that instead of hanging out with us? Steal all the wind. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what's going on here. There we go. All right. This is always fun in these games when they do stupid stuff, like make you drive a tractor. And like the tractor controls are like inverted, they're very weird. Oh, I can't get his last one! There we go. Oh, and I ran over my friends. Food was very good, thank you. It all worked out very well. Black Bolt, though. How do we get him on this side? The zucchini was good. And as soon as I beat this level, I'm going to be done for the night. But. So I had to do this again? Nothing? Alright. So what do I do now? Chili stuffed zucchini yet? No, that's a good idea. I should give that a shot. 
Alright, I'm currently forgetting how to beat this part of this children's video game. Uh, okay, so Wolverine is not in this. Uh, this is, you know, this was made right before Marvel. So Marvel made the Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 before Marvel was a huge deal at the movies, right? Um, they had made a couple of the movies, but not everything else. And then they made Lego Marvel Avengers, which was just a plot of the few, a few of the movies with a bunch of Avengers characters. And since they didn't have the rights to Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, or the X-Men, none of those characters are in it, even though they're on the first one. So that was a little silly, right? This one has Spider-Man characters, because at this point they could do Spider-Man movies. But still no, uh... Still no, uh, X-Men or Fantastic Four or any of that, so... It's really too bad that they felt like they had to do it that way. I cannot remember what the fuck you're supposed to do. Oh, yes I can, stupid, dumb asshole. All right. I think you can get the Punisher in this, yes. Um, I don't want to say it, but I might need some help for this. What do you do? I don't remember this part at all. Oh, there we go. I didn't think Ultimate Alliance 3 was a stinker. I thought it was pretty good. Oh, that, there we go. I didn't see that you had to be tapping a button. Yeah, X-Men Legends was great, though. Um, yeah, I think the Lego Marvel games kind of... If you don't like the Ultimate Alliance games, these games kind of do what they should, those other games should. We appear to have resupplied the power. You rebuilt both of the quantum energy generators. In a manner of speaking, as soon as I start, Kang will send everything he has at us. Need to maintain total concentration, so please keep them away from me for as long as you can. If you get overwhelmed, there's a panel over there that you can Now She Hulk, Spider Gwen, and Rocket Raccoon. It's a good crew. Gotta be close to going up with damn meters as Sapphire and I'm dying. The sexiest Marvel villain? <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Um Thanos, uh, some people like drew pictures of Thanos as like naked with his ass out, so some people would say Thanos, right? There we go. Now I got that meter filled up. You know, they don't do a lot of these tower defense kind of levels, but man, it's annoying. The sexiest Marvel villain is 3D. Excited to see the She-Hulk show. She-Hulk's a good character. I hope they do do it right. Oh yeah, Loki. Loki's probably the sexiest Marvel villain, right? Didn't people get mad that they like uh, hinted that he's bisexual or something? It's like, well, Loki's always been like that. If you read the old Norse mythology, he was always he would do whatever to fuck with people, you know. 
And so he, he mess, he'll sleep with whoever he wants. He, like, turned into a horse and impregnated a horse, you know? I mean, Eagle of Living Planet's pretty thick. He's up there. See his face? Oh, yeah, a lot of the X-Men are really hot, aren't they? That's true. They're kind of the sexiest group. Loki is Trevor if he was a Norse god. Yeah, because Loki's always trying to play outside the rules, too. I forget how you beat these guys with the red armor. You know, silver one is you use a bomb. The gold one you gotta use a laser. I don't know what the red armor needs to do. Oh, there we go. Yeah, beta ray bill rules. What? Hmm. I knew those coordinates would work. Perfect. Oh, I should be turning on subtitles for this. Sorry. Well, we're done for now. Um, so that's it for the show tonight. Thanks for everybody hanging out. I'm going to uh, find somebody to raid. And my computer is slow and it's going to take a little bit, so bear with me. And I burped again. Well. We spiralized some squash. I ate uh, hamburger steaks uh, and uh, tested some corn. Yes, I agree. Another successful meal. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Anybody who subscribed, gifted subs, donated, whatever. And uh, we'll be back. Let's see. Tomorrow night is uh, Newsboys with, with, I believe, the return of Zach. And then Saturday, so, so Saturday will be all of us. So that's crazy. Oh, we got the other Ant-Man. That's fun. I don't know why we got him. He wasn't even there. Okay, let's find somebody to raid. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you know what? Just leave it to stuff. Where's Tony? Are we prepped? Probably in a few. Wait, I need a talking dog. Okay, guys. You both ready? Nice suit. Thanks. A lot of Oh, hey, who should we, uh, who should I raid? You okay? Is, uh, Emily, does she still raid? Sam's, Sam's lady. Lady, special lady friend. I always forget her channel name. Yeesh. That thing's a lot uglier than I remember. Well, it's a big floating skull. We're never going to be winning any beauty pageants. Hurry up, you guys. I'll make the talking dog. Thank you. And uh, okay. Um. All right, somebody throw me some. Throw me a name to raid. Bubby Jules. All right, let's try that one. Literally, just the first one I saw somebody say. I'm not playing favorites. What are they doing? Geo Guesser. What is that even? Or Bubby Jules with a Z or an S? There's two of them. Ooh. A 
Oh, that is quite the team. Star -Lord, legendary Clancy Brown? No, that is... Uh, that is Peter Serafinowicz playing Kang. And I like the guy that got to play Kang in the live-action Marvel movies, but Peter Serafinowicz is really great. Weird Paul. Yeah, he's good. You know what? We're going to... Yeah, we'll, we'll try this one. Bubbly Jewels, not Bubby. Wait, did I do the wrong one? Bubbly, okay. Here we go. All right, everybody, I love you. Be nice. Um, I will see you all next time for Zucchini Boys, where we make zucchini for the boys. And girls, and whoever. Man, is this fucking thing going? I'm sorry, I'm having such uh, problems here. I'll just run around until this thing actually works. It's like Apparently freezing on me. Some kind of exhibition happening up in that ruined building. <laughs> there we go. No, come on, you stupid piece of shit. There we go. Okay, bye everybody. Love you.